session we can apply vscpr theory to predict the shape of some simple molecules first one is becl2 here the central atom is beryllium be and chlorine atoms are surrounded by it in order to get the minimum repulsion the angle this bond angle is 180 degree and the shape of the molecule is linear okay next second one is bf3 here this boron is the central atom it is surrounded by three fluorine atoms okay and the geometry of the molecule is trigonal planar so in order to get the minimum repulsion between these fluorine atoms they occupy the maximum distance in the space so the angle between them is that is bond angle is 120 degree next third compound is ch4 here carbon is a central atom and it is surrounded by four hydrogen atoms and the shape of the geometry it's the same shape of the molecular geometry of the molecule is tetrahedral and the hydrogen atom occupies in space such that the bond angle is 109.5 degree okay in all these three cases there is no lone pair of electrons in the central atom okay in the next case if we take so2 sulfur is the central atom and it is surrounded by two oxygen atom and the sulfur atom contains a lone pair of electrons and we know lone pair bond pair repulsion is greater than bond pair bond pair repulsions okay so this lone pair occupies more space in the geometry and actually this is a trigonal planar in shape okay but due to this lone pair oso angle or the bond angle is reduced from 120 degree to 119.5 degree okay this is the fourth example next fifth one is ammonia in this case also nitrogen is the central atom it contains a lone pair of electrons actually the shape will be tetrahedral but due to this lone pair it occupies more space and lone pair bond pair repulsion is high so this angle hnh angle or the bond angle is reduced from 109.5 degree which is the actual angle of tetrahedral angle okay so and it is reduced from this tetrahedral angle to 107 degree okay now sixth example is h2o molecule here the oxygen atom contains two lone pairs so there is lone pair on lone pair repulsion so compared to all the others this lone pair lone pair repulsion is greater than lone pair bond pair repulsion and bond pair bond pair repulsion okay so this occupies more space in the uh, arrangement okay so in this geometry this hoh angle or the bond angle is reduced from the original tetrahedral angle to 104.5 degree okay these are some examples okay few more examples in which the central atom containing lone pair of electrons seventh example sf4 here the sulfur atom is surrounded by four fluorine atoms and also the sulfur atom contains a lone pair of electrons okay due to this uh, repulsion between lone pair bond pair repulsion which is greater than bond pair bond pair repulsion so the uh, actually this structure is a trigonal bipyramidal structure but uh, this gets distorted and the angle the two angles for the trigonal bipyramidal is uh, less than 90 degree and less than 120 degree okay and this structure is known as seeso structure these three positions these three positions are called the equatorial position and these two positions are the axial positions okay that is perpendicular to this axis and this is on the plane of axis okay these are uh, equatorial position and these are axial positions here this uh, lone pair must placed in the uh, equatorial position this is the most stable position if it place this in the axial position what will happen the lone pair bond pair repulsion in such a case will be greater there are almost three lone pair lone pair repulsions will be possible in such a case okay so f will be here and if we place lone pair here three 
लॉन पेयर बॉन्ड पेयर रिपल्शन आर पॉसिबल बट इन दिस केस इफ यू कीप दिस इन द क्यूटोरियल पोजिशन ओनली टू बॉन्ड पेयर लॉन्ड पेयर रिपल्शन इज पॉसिबल सो दिस इज द मोस्ट स्टेबल स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज कॉल्ड एज सी सो स्ट्रक्चर नाउ लेट इज टेक द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सी एल एफ थ्री हियर द क्लोरन आइटम इज द सेंट्रल आइटम सराउंडेड बाई थ्री फ्लोरन आइटम्स ऑल्सो दिस क्लोरन आइटम कंडेज टू लॉन्ड पेयर्स so which occupies maximum space in the geometry and these are in the two equatorial positions instead of placing in the axial position because axial position lone pair bond pair repulsions are great okay now uh, what will happen due to this lone pair this angle this bond angle is shrinked and it is reduced from its 90 degree angle to Uh, from 90 degree that is less than 90 degree this angle will be less than 90 degree and this structure is called as t shape this is the eighth example now let us take ninth if5 iodine is a central atom it is surrounded by five fluorine atoms and this iodine contains a lone pair of electrons this lone pair lone pair occupies axial position here this is the most stable position in this case so and the angle is reduced from its 90 degree angle this is uh, uh, actually an octahedral shape but due to presence of this lone pair this angle is shrinked and it is uh, decreased from 90 degree and it is always less than 90 degree and the shape of the molecule is called as square pyramidal next 10th example xcf4 xenon is a central atom it is surrounded by four fluorin atoms and this xenon contains two lone pairs which are at the two axial position this is the most stable position okay and the structure is called as square planar okay and here actually the shape is an octahedral shape but due to the presence of this lone pair this angle is shrinked okay that is bond angle shrinked and it is approximately equal to 90 degree okay and the shape is called as square planar these are some of the examples for the geometry of molecules